Hello everyone. Welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. We'll continue talking about creating materials inside Unreal Engine from scratch. So far, we have learned in our previous videos how to create different types of materials for the building and the landscape. In this video, we'll continue by creating a material for the water pool. So to start, I have a bunch of textures here. One of them is for the pool wall tiles so I'm just gonna add this and create a material and double click it as you can see the normals also were created so we're gonna add a texture coordinates for a scalar parameter so we can adjust them in the material instance so that's the one for the U and another one for the P and amend these together and connect them to a multiplier let's put them in the B and then connect this to the texture symbol and for the normal for the normal let's flatten this picture add a scalar parameter the normal intensity value and connect it to the normal so let's set apply and create a material instance from this double click it apply it first sorry about that select the walls apply it on the walls activate the mods and let's put a value of 1 to 1 looks a little bit big so let's increase it 3 for example to 3 I think this is fine let's increase the intensity for me by 0.5 alright okay so let's move to the water material I'm gonna right click and create a material name this as water also and double click it let's add uh, add vector of 3 by, by pressing 3 and connect this to the base color convert it to a parameter let's name this water color let's bring it a little bit to the blue color add a scalar parameter to the metal node connected another one for the roughness control C and V to easily paste it let's give the metal 0.9 and for the roughness point, point 0.1 okay so we need to add also uh, nodes to the opacity so we're gonna change the material type by pressing on the material and then going to the blend mode change it to translucent and going down to the translucency also to change it to surface translucency volume so we, the light can go through the material so the, th the same technique that we have used with the glass we're gonna add two scalar parameters for the opacity let's name this opacity front control c control v and name this as the side and let's blur them together by pressing l and a Fresnel function connected to the alpha and add also a scalar parameter of the Fresnel and connect this to the opacity and let's hit apply so we're gonna create a material instance also from this uh, water material and apply it on the water surface uh, object create a material lenses select the surface and apply it over here so until the shader compile let's activate also the node so we have the color let's bring more to the blue and I'm waiting just for the shader to compile uh, 
uh, I have also added a planner reflection uh, the same one that we have added to the glass and by pressing G you're just gonna hide it from your uh, viewport scene and the planner reflection basically you can find it on the tools here planner reflection then just put it on top of the surface of the water and that's it okay so now we're gonna need to adjust our material uh, values a little bit so I'm gonna increase the fernel and let's increase the contour 0.3 and the opacity side let's say 0.8 okay so now we have a clean water surface without any noise which actually doesn't match the real water and uh, our world so I'm gonna need to add a normal texture that's gonna simulate the water noise and by pressing T to add a texture sample I'm gonna use the Unreal Engine uh, water uh, normal uh, texture so T underscore water and that's the material that we're gonna use and we need to add this to the water I'm gonna first flatten the material with a normal map and a scalar parameter. Let's name this as water normal intensity and connect this to our normal. We need to add a texture coordinate also so we can adjust the scale of the noise on top of the water. So by pressing U to get the texture coordinates again by adding uh, two scalar parameters for the U and the V and bend them together okay and sorry by pressing M multiply them with the texture coordinates let's connect them to the UVs and hit apply and we'll go back to our water to see how the noise are uh, uh, interacting with the water surface all right minimizing to see the effect double click to activate the parameters let's give for example the u the value of one and for the normal intensity, let's put 0.5. Okay, so we still don't see the the, no, the normal texture. Let's add it, increase it by five, for example, and increase this to five or maybe two. Okay, three. So you can see that we we starting to get a little bit of uh, a noise on top of the water by increasing the normal intensity we start to see the noise let's make it by six six sorry about that okay we have just uh, the noise effect but we don't see any water movement and to do that we can easily add a small material knot it's called a panner let's give a little bit of space over here and the panner actually will animate this texture on top of the surface. So I'm gonna right click and add the panner. And we're gonna connect the texture coordinates to the panner so it will move all uh, our noise uh, texture. Okay. And we're gonna connect also a speed to a scalar parameter. Name this as the panner speed or let's name it by speed and connect it by this we can hit apply let's see how we're gonna get some movements after uh, adding this uh, banner uh, node to the material okay so we're gonna double click again activate the new node okay and let's create a speed of for example 0.3 and see how this is gonna look like with the water okay so 
basically you're getting a, a movement of the texture for uh, a one direction actually which also doesn't match our uh, real life movement of the water pool uh, noise movement let's just uh, adjust our values here by creating okay if we adjust the opacity side increase the metal effect a little bit I'm trying to play with the noise a little bit on the normal sorry and it seems that if it goes on the negative direction well let's keep it on the positive direction and just add it to the four so we're gonna need to adjust this movement of the no uh, of the normal texture to create a two different movements that simulate the real uh, water uh, physics of the uh, of the no of the noise so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna duplicate this normal texture by hitting ctrl w and we're gonna create also another copy of this banner because we want the the texture of the second texture of the normal to move in the other direction so i'm gonna connect the, the second banner and we're gonna name this to, for example to speed 2 let's name this to speed 1 all right so if this is going on speed let's say 0.2 this one will be in the same value but on the negative direction okay so now we're gonna need to uh, connect the texture coordinates also to the second panner and we need also to lerp these two normal textures together so I'm gonna hit L and connect them together to the same flat and normal we're gonna hit apply and let's see now how it's gonna look like okay so I'm gonna activate the new knot. Let's see now how things gonna look like. I'm gonna adjust uh, values here. Maybe just bring this down a little bit too. Uh, yeah, maybe this one four, so we don't have want them to be equal together. And increase the speed a little bit. Minus point two six. This looks okay. So if the normal, yeah, minimize it a little bit. Yeah. So basically now what we have is the basic uh, water material that you still have gonna need to uh, tweak it a little bit with the values until you reach to the level that you are uh, satisfied with. Sorry, just needed to activate the color and see if we can get better color than this something just a little bit to the blue and the green okay maybe we're gonna just add also a small uh, reflection knob and we're gonna copy these guys control C control V name these two reflection front and the reflection side. Let's name this the Fresnel reflection. Connect this to the reflection and hit apply. And let's see how this is gonna look like in, in our material. Okay, so again Activating our new nodes. Let's put this, for example, to one. And for the reflection on the front, let's see these values how it's gonna look like. Okay. So so far so good. If you don't want to have a lots of transparency, you just basically gonna increase the opacity on both sides. So. 
can get the similar effect on near to the far but I, I believe now this is the basic material that you can have uh, for the pool water and yeah so we're just gonna this a little bit and then see this from a bigger view for this camera Let's zoom in a little bit here seems like it needs a little bit more tweaking on the opacity and maybe even for now yeah yeah, so adjusting these values will give us uh, a better look of the material okay so the final thing I wanna show you uh, to adjust on the, the water material is basically the caustic effect that you see uh, on the on the material when the light hit uh, the the water surface and we have this kind of uh, the bevel of the uh, of the wave the interaction between them when the light hit the surface give us uh, this little white uh, effect on the on the bottom of these uh, of the of the pool representing these uh, rebel uh, interaction so i have here a caustic texture um, I'm gonna also upload it for you so you can download it. It's a high resolution texture that was created in Substance Designer. And the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it through a fake uh, way. There are actually uh, another way of doing the caustics uh, using uh, something called uh, multiple pass rendering. But this we're gonna uh, discuss later on, I mean, in future uh, projects as it's require uh, more time to build the blueprint so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna go to our light direction hit control C control V add this uh, light non we don't need this to uh, be built as it's just to show the effect of the caustic material so uh, we need to connect the caustic to our light uh, function material so I'm gonna also create the material from this sorry let's create the material name it as caustic light and just double click it drag the caustic and change the material type to a light function and we're gonna connect the caustic also add a texture coordinate which we can get from the water material these guys over here control C control V and connect them to the texture and we can also build a multiplier with a scalar parameter that is a massive power and connect these here let's give it a value of for 3 for example hit apply and also sorry and put this on the light function now we want this to affect only the, the pool uh, the pool bottom so we're gonna adjust the directional light channel writing here ch for a channel we're gonna let it affect only this part by choosing the channel one and also for the object that is our pool uh, wall also let's make it on the channel one so back to the directional light I'm gonna just need to uh, adjust light intensity 50 for example and connect oh sorry yeah. okay activate our caustic maybe make it as far and now you start to see the 
caustic effect on the bottom of the of the pool, which represent a fake caustic actually because it's it's not interacting uh, together as the the ri the ripple or the interaction between of the the water surface. But what we can do is also go back to the material and create a banner also with the two different direction. So I'm gonna copy this. Sorry, I'm gonna copy this here. I'm gonna add a banner and connect the speed. Speed, sorry, speed one. Connect this here. So connect same coordinates. Let's make this. Uh, 0.5 and this is minus 0.5 and let's multiply this together and connect them to the multiplier we have and go to the material so we're starting to see this effect we have only speed 1 Uh, because we need we didn't name the other one speed two and let's make it with this with the positive number hit apply maybe sorry about that okay so now point five let's bring it down a little bit like three increase this to that so fast point five, point one, sorry and we can see if we play with the sorry the massive uh, power effect of the light you can also increase the intensity of the direction of light to get this kind of the fake caustic uh, for the water pool. So, in case you have a problem with the normal from this angle, you can always decrease it uh, to a less number. Yeah, so as you can see, the caustics will be only visible on the light direction and this is useful also for the the night shot or the the dusk time where the light inside the pool when it hits the surface of the building you can actually add a, a spotlight that will hit the bottom of this wall and will show a little bit of acoustic we'll show this later on, on the fi final version of this uh, project so we can see the this effect so I hope this uh, video helped you with understanding how you can build a water uh, material. I know it's a little bit uh, confusing and requires a lot of time adjusting the values more and more until you reach to uh, the optimum level. So let me know in, in the comments below if you have any difficulties if, or if there is anything unclear for you. And uh, yeah, that's it for the, the water material. And thank you very much.